Abacus Auction, sale 236, video file for lot 531, Diamond Numerals of South Australia, that's the group that are illustrated in the catalogue. And, oh, here we go. Somebody's obviously viewed them. All these grids. They're mostly fine to very fine strikes, which makes them a very desirable lot. Condition of the stamps is very mixed, but we postmark collectors don't mind that so much if the postmarks are nice. Even common numerals of this type are hard to get in really nice condition because of the way they're engraved. They tended to get rather worn and clogged like that. And beautiful strikes like that are a joy to behold. And you get these big bold strikes which are really nice. I think the cut in the bars was deliberate so you knew which way it went otherwise it could be an 18 or a 98 and there's 99 again with the cut in the bars some of the strikes are quite spectacular This is certainly the finest collection of these we offered. The uh, the singles in the um, sale two, three, four were from this collection. Uh, had we offered it intact, uh, we probably would have got ten thousand dollars for the the whole lot, but uh, we wouldn't have found out what individual items were worth. So I think we've done the right thing by the vendor in doing it this way. There's certainly lots of really nice things left. Now look at that, you, you're just not going to get a better example. 199 again, 2 hours. Some of them are a bit ordinary, 207 probably. There's a 223 which is almost certainly correct. 220 might be a 226. You know, you don't want to be too confident about some of these things. And the higher the numbers, and consequently the less time they are in use, uh, the worse the strikes tend to be. And uh, that suggests that by the end they were using a very soft metal that wore badly and quickly. Anyway, excellent uh, basis for expansion.